Anything that will improve sales, I am all about. George Anderson is a managing partner of Timbers Bar and Grill in Saginaw Township. He's also a big fan of a new Senate bill, allowing bars and restaurants to sell cocktails and liquor to go. You sell nachos all the time here, so a couple margaritas on a Tuesday or nacho night, that would be outstanding. The bill is being fast-tracked to help the restaurant and bar industry, which has been decimated by the coronavirus shutdown. The industry is already allowed to sell beer and wine to go, so backers say it's not a stretch to include cocktails. All the alcohol must be in sealed containers with no straw holes. And in addition, restaurants and bars will get an extra 13% discount on prices from the Liquor Control Commission. That's huge for an operator. We're not getting discounts on food. Our food is going way up. To see a discount uh, somewhere, so that'll help our bottom line. I mean, that's outstanding. There are some who are skeptical of this new bill believing it could lead to many problems. This has the potential to open the door to really make a permanent change in how we buy alcohol. Doug Scholes is the director of field operations for Mothers Against Drunk Driving in Michigan. He says his group just wants to make sure there are safeguards in place. When it goes to abuse or if it's violating law by illegal driving with your impaired or someone who's not able to buy it you know, legally, then we do get involved. Scholes says nationally there isn't much data out there yet on whether or not cocktails to go is being abused. So until there is, they'll just watch and hope for the best. Reporting for WNEM TV5, I'm Jason Fielder.